So the Big Dipper poolside chilling and Drake decides to drop the heart part six. He's not done, y'all. Let's get it. Hip hop is alive. Day free. All right. You know what that means. Baby mama drama. The Pulitzer Prize winner is definitely spiraling. I got your fucking lines tapped. I swear that I'm dialed in. First I was a rat, so where's the proof of the trial then? Where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? Fire! 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 Fire, Drizzy! That is what you need to do. Your back is a, against the wall. I, I say to everybody, mothers don't, aren't used to that. I came into this beef as a fan of Drake. I thought Drake was number one, best rapper in, in my generation to come out. And then through Ch Kendrick's performance, I started to lean towards Kendrick. But that doesn't mean I hate Drake. I want you to come with a, a strong record, but know you're back against the wall, cuz. Just know that. Just be realistic. The them joints he put out are viral and fire euphoria. It's fire. You know what I'm saying? If, the, if I'm in Drake's camp, that's what I'm telling them. We down. You know what I mean? Like when the boxer come in the corner, his eyes swole up. Yo, we need a knockout, bro. We need a knock. So Drake like, okay, counter punch, counter punch, weave it. That is true. Because he did say he has some shit that would make Gunna wanna, we would make Gunna look like a saint. He's like, show me where I snitch, dog. Spiraling. I got your fucking lines tapped. I swear that I'm dialed in. First I was a rat, so where's the proof of the trial? Yo, lines tapped. Double entendre your phone, but also he's tapping into your lines. I want to see what they actually mean. The good double right there. Where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? 1090 Jake would have took all the walls down. Oh! And that's facts. If Drake would have have snitched, 1090 Drake would have been 1090 Jake would have been the first to with that. You know he. He be, he be outside the courthouse with nigga snitch. Streets would have had me hiding out in a small town. My Montreal connects stand up, not far down. The ones that you getting your stories from, they all clowns. I am a war general, season in preparation. My jacket is covered in medals, honor and decoration. You waited for this moment, overcome with the jackets, honors and decoration. Let's be real. Drizzy done made it out to Common Beef, the Meek Beef, the Pusha T, the, Ke uh, the Kendrick, the, like, and if you're a hip-hop fan, you know, this is just the new face of it. This is, there's been multiple iterations of this, whether it's Control, like, I would say that was sort of like the Cold War, that Control, BT Cypher era, even though he said it, but it's still the Cold War, Drake has a lot of subliminals on 100 with Game and all them shit, leading up to now we're at, this is, this is World War Three. This is World War Three. Getting your stories from they all clowns. Mm. I am a war general. Oh, that's you getting fake. Okay. My jacket is covered in medals, honor and decoration. Mm. You waited for this moment, overcome with the desperation. Mm. We plotted for a week and then we fed you the information. Mm. My daughter that's 11 years old. I bet he takes it. We thought about giving a fake name or a destination. But now, see, this is what you have to do. You have to destroy the integrity of the narrator. So now what Drake's doing is, I set you up, dummy. And then what that does, what that does is it takes integrity away from anything that Kendrick can now say. This is a very well-played move from Drake because I'm going to be honest with you, he didn't have many chances. Oh, Drake's only choice right now is to knock the heart part six out of the park. And I'm not going to say it's the greatest diss track I've heard 52 seconds in. But he's doing well. He's doing exactly, he's checking all the boxes. Now, what I said is after you shake this, you're going to need to put a stain on Kendrick equal to the Edo. He's been putting on that, that EDP lifestyle. But you so thirsty, you not concerned with investigation. Instead, you in that Venice studio, it's a celebration. Mm. You gotta learn to fact check things and be less impatient. Your fans are rejoicing, thinking this is my expiration. Even the picture you use, the jokes and the medication. The Maybach. Ooh! But I will say, how long has Drake been setting this up? Because I did see the picture of his quote unquote daughter. And he, for all we know, Drake could be lying. But I'm not going to act like, for all we know, Kendrick can also be lying. So we're just sort of taking niggas at their word. I don't believe Drake has another another kid. I don't believe it. After the Pusha T thing, even though an 11-year-old kid would be older than Adonis, actually. Because maybe this is how you get it. Actually, I don't know about these niggas. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to act like I know these niggas. Maybe he has a kid, maybe he doesn't. But 
If I can give Ken the pen, Ken, 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 whatever his name is, Kendrick, the benefit of the doubt, I definitely could award the same thing to Dre. And this is my expiration. Learn to fact check things and be less impatient. Okay. The fans are rejoicing, thinking this is my expiration. Go ahead. Even the picture you use, the jokes and the medication, the Maybach glove and the drug he uses for less inflation. Master manipulator, you bid on a speculation. You dumb. And Everything, the picture he used, the pill bottle, all that shit. He's saying, the guy put that in your hand, stupid. I like this from Drizzy. Kendrick haters are good. Our Kendrick stands are going to come in here and be like, this is whack. This is whack. If, if based off this first minute and 12 seconds, you're tripping, bro. Just love the culture and love hip hop and love the competitive nature that it provides. And stop being a glizzy rider. Nigga, when Kendrick hits him hard, we gonna say Kendrick hit him hard. When Drizzy hits him hard, we gonna say Drizzy hit him hard. Pause. Can I get a hit him hard in the comments? <laughs> I'm a reactive nigga. I'm petty with dedication. Mm. What about the bones we dug up in that excavation? And mm. why isn't Whitney denying all of the allegations? Ooh. Why is she following Dave Free and not Mr. Morale? You have oh, no, my God. So he's saying, if I'm lying, why is your girl literally doing everything I was saying? Why is she with Dave following Dave Free and not following you, which is something we have seen through this whole shit? Woo! This is getting... This is when niggas start burning tattoos. I've seen oh, the God. kids in six months. The distance is wild. Dave... Free and not miss the morale. You haven't seen the kids in six months. The distance is wild. Dave leaving heart emojis underneath pics of the child. Speaking of anything with a child, let's get to that now. This Epstein angle was the shit I expected. TikTok videos you collected and dissected. Instead of being on some disdirect shit, you rather fucking grab your pen and misdirect shit. My mom came over today and I was like, Mother I, Mother I, Mother I, wait a second. That's that one record where you say you got molested. Ah, oh, fuck me. Wait, hold on. What in the name of Puff Daddy is going? Hold on, niggas is wait. To the child, speaking of anything with a child. Let's get to that now. This Epstein angle was the shit I expected. So he's like, okay, I thought you would put that EDP on me. Okay, cool. Let's go bar for bar. This is. TikTok videos you collected and dissect. Again, just going into that, Kendrick is just taking shit, internet narratives with no proof and running with them. This is what Drake's saying. I'm not saying that myself personally because I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I know as much as I know. I do know that Baka shit's true. I do know that Baka shit's true. Instead of being on some disdirect shit, you rather fucking grab your pen and misdirect shit. Oh my God, I love how Drake and like the, mm, the ambiance of it because... You feel like this is overtime in a, a in the in the game seven of the finals. You feel this. You feel it. My mom came over today and I was like, Mother I, Mother I. Mother I. Is, does Kendrick have a song called Mother I? I? Mother I, wait a second. That's that one record where you say you got molested. Oh, fuck me. I just made the whole connection. This about to get so depressing. This is trauma from your own confessions. This when your father leave you home alone with no protection, so neglected. That's why these pedophile raps and shit you so obsessed with. It's so excessive. They acting like it's so aggressive. But you just never known affection. I don't want to dish you anymore. This really got me second guessing. Touch. Let me put on my shades, nigga. Nah, cause, cause when the police come, I need to be able to say I didn't see nothing. I need to put on, you see these, these purple, purple lenses, nigga. I need to be able to say I didn't see not a goddamn thing. This nigga said you was in here. Niggas was Epstein and you. And that's why your mind is so sexually perverted. And you're now putting your own traumas off on me. God damn. That is check. Or that is chess. That is chess. Now, Drake, you... And in, in, in Queso knows anything, in the next couple hours, Kendrick's probably coming back with the literal video footage of you at the Puff Daddy Fart Party. I'm just based on how this is going. But right now, Drizzy, you are up, bro. Not in the whole battle, but just like this moment right now. You are, nigga, yes, balls. This is how you do it. This is how you fight it because a lot of y'all, I don't know. If, if you ever do, do time in a lockup, like it be K-Pod or J-Pod, they put them EDP dudes in a whole different unit. Different than segregation. Some places have them just in seg, but they put them in a whole different unit. Nigga, a lot of my homies, 
have been charged. I have friends that have been charged with every crime. But if we ever figure out that you're an EDP, we have to move away from you. We have to. That is the most unrespectable. Un so Drake had to take his time in claiming that off of his jacket. And I also think he needed to do that because for years the Bobby, the Christy or Bobby, um, Bobby Brown, Bobby Aguilera, whatever that nigga name is, but we seen that nigga was on that puff tilt that just can't get enough with her. You know what I'm saying? You needed to do this. You needed to clean this up for your own legacy. You did. You did. You did. You did. You needed to clean this up for your own legacy. Touch my body by Mariah Carey play. You probably start reflecting. Really got me second guessing. Touch my body by Mariah Carey play. You probably start reflecting. I never been with no one underage, but now I understand why this the angle that you really mess with. Ooh. Just for clarity, I feel disgusted. I'm too respected. If I was fucking young girls, I promise I'd have been arrested. I'm way too famous for the shit you just that suggested. I'm so but that's happy, not and I'm so happy. You know, I'm so happy you just say I didn't do it. You know what I mean? Because I ain't gonna lie, man. Historically, that is something that niggas have thrown on niggas, man. And it's it's such an accusation. It's so hard to fight it. Because it's such an evil, unrespectable thing. What do we do when you throw it? Nigga, what? What do you do when you throw that on somebody's jacket? I can't start def What do I sound like to start defending him? That's when people start getting scared. That is it. And so I'm happy Drake hopped on that hill and said, nigga, what's up? What's up, nigga? You said I did. What? What's up? That's a bang out. That's a crash out. Young girls, I promise I'd have been arrested. Talk. I'm way too famous for the shit you just suggested, but that's not the lesson. Clearly, there's a deeper message. Deep cuts that never healed, and now they got infected. Like if Dave really fucked your girl and got her pregnant. Talk about breeding resentment. Not sure how to ease the sense of Not talk about breeding resentment. You got your girl pregnant, breeding. Ah! Oh! If Dave really fucked your girl and got her pregnant, talk about breeding resentment. Not sure how to ease the sentiment. This shit's too intimate. I'm praying you recover from both incidents, but you a piece of shit, so this shit really no coincidence. <laughs> Drake is not a name that you gon' see on no sex offender list. Easy does. Yeah! That's Drizzy, nigga. I'm so happy, bro. I'm so happy you're not a freaky bull, cause I've been telling people, you look in the mirror. You say Diddy three times and lick your lips, that nigga pop up. Nigga, well, I heard that if you started <laughs> and said Aubrey and did a little blue face things four times in December, Drake pop out behind you, start doing the hook to, uh, to, to, to God's plan. I was really starting to think that he was on that puff, but he's a little different. He's a little different. This shit's too intimate. I'm praying you recover from both incidents. But you a piece of shit, so this shit really no coincidence. I call it a piece of shit. It's just such great Canadian. Like, I don't know why that felt so Canadian to me. Just call it a piece of shit. <laughs> Drake is not a name that you gon' see on no sex offender list. Easy mm -hmm. does it. You mentioned an A minor, but niggas gotta be sharp and tell the fans who was it. You thought you. Oh! You're mentioning A minor, but niggas gotta be sharp and say who was it? You're mentioning A minor, but niggas have to be sharp and say who... That's how you flip a bar! This is the greatest duel of rappers we have ever seen in our culture. Whether you are a Drizzy fan whether you are a Kendrick fan. This is the one of the greatest moments I have had the honor to live through as a hip hop fan. That 50 Cent and Ja Rule shit, if you didn't e experience what it was like to nigga B and G unit in your head, <laughs> because be real, that one niggas was on the B and G unit in your head, you missed something. But I'm telling you right now, you got it. You got that feeling. You got that feeling. You got that feel, bro. There's nothing better than this. And nigga, you know, I'm I, I was born in '97, but I feel like my hip hop shit starts in like 2000. Being that my brothers, my older brothers, screwing my oldest brothers, always into he putting us all into this music shit. We all in that family. I feel like my hip hop history started '91. If we being <laughs> being real, like really, what I feel like I live some of this shit, nigga. But nothing has felt bigger than this. 
that I don't know what the Pac and Big though was at the time. I'm gonna give y'all that. I don't know what that felt like. It had to have been hitting like, ugh. Cause if this is hitting like this, and Drake is Canadian, and these niggas was Pac East Coast, but oh no, it must have been some special. Left D flat D minor, but niggas gotta be sharp and tell the fans who was it. You thought you left D flat D major. I slit your throat with the razor and do. You thought you left D flat, like Drake flatline, like you think you killed him, but D's major. Thought you left D flat D major. I slit your throat. But D major. Also, if you look at like Kendrick's first to real big tours with Drake, and Drake p put out that leg, and I don't give a fuck. See, the fans gonna come through, but you niggas need to be real. Kendrick said it himself, y'all. Kendrick said it himself, cause that Drake did do a lot for his career. And if you even go back to his like records like Poetic Justice, that was a smash. Drake Drake brought himself back. Like, hey, this is like when niggas be beating up the Undertaker and that nigga said, mm -hmm. <laughs> with the razor and do Rick Ross hair like that one flight from Malaysia. I'm your baby mama scream. Oh, do Rick Ross his head like that one flight from Malaysia? What happened in the Malaysian Airlines? Did it go down? Hey, Saber. Fucking with Whitney's, not Millie Bobby Browns. I never looked twice at no teenager. God, I love this nigga, man. That's I'm proud of you, bro. I because also I said like with Dan Schneider and Puff and all that shit. We're starting to just feel like everybody in Hollywood is a freaky boy. I'm happy you're not. I'm a fucking hit maker, dog, not a peacemaker. Mm. Yeah, bullets that I'm stuffing in each chamber. Yo ass in extreme danger. Stop buying views and buy comments. You may as well keep the paper. Shit you about to need for later. I give a fuck about your streaming data. You could try. And now Drake is also. Dog, this guy's good. He's now. Before Drake. Because Kendrick through Euphoria had, I think, was the biggest first one day number streaming numbers he did like 13 million and then he was on pace to out do it with um the new new record he did i'm not sure if it did pass it but he said it was on pace at some point um drake's taking that out of this beef oh you want to do the numbers thing gone we're moving that so move the let's move the goalposts let's do, and let's create this a different fight on a different front. keep the paper shit you about to need for later i give a fuck about your stream and this is why we got to respect drake so much more than j cole bro this nigga dropped hiroshima bombs on this nigga and he just, he's still here fighting man a lot of y'all niggas we could learn from drake don't give up no matter how bad it looks for you because you never know your best effort the best thing you ever do might be right right about to happen the day after you give up data you could drop a hundred more records i'll see you later mm. yeah maybe when you meet your maker i don't want to fight with a woman beater it feeds your nature Whoa. if you still bump i don't want to fight with a woman beater it feeds your nature <laughs> nah, hold on. I've been over here talking about Drizzy. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, did you, do you actually think you're sexy, Red? I feel like that just, wait, what do you mean? Jamaica, I don't want to fight with a woman beater. It feeds your nature. If you still bumping R. Kelly, you could thank the savior. Said if they deleted his music, then your music is going to a hypocrite. I don't understand why these. Wow. And cool. Kendrick Lamar did fight for R. Kelly music not to be deleted off of Spotify and he said if they take it down and streaming services he wants his music taken down because I do Drake don't do that I love you bro and you're cooking but don't do that because that's bad for hip-hop Kendrick was being proactive for a problem he was seeing you know that the world does not want rap to be the number one platform and if we allow these platforms these these streaming services to allow us to be removed for our artistry like after the fact you can remove our artistry about how you feel about what we've done do you want them to remove Tupac's because he had that do you want them to remove MJ's do you want them to remove Elvis so what Kendrick Lamar was telling these companies was let's let's he wants to separate art artists from artistry you, I mean art from artists not artists from artistry art from artists I do fuck with that. 
But this nigga Drake isn't talking to the me's. He's talking to the casuals. And for them, they're going to be like, you wanted R. Kelly's music to be there, and I still give you the points, Drake, because I know what you're doing, but I know my subs aren't casuals. I know my audience isn't casuals. So I just be real. We all know what you're doing, but nigga, that was a good one. That was a good one, bro. I'm not going to lie. Deleted his music. If you still bumping R. Kelly, you could thank the savior. Said if they deleted his music, and your music is going to a hypocrite. I don't understand why these people praise you. Sounding like you sent him commissary when he needs some paper. Album dropping soon. No wonder you turn a clout chaser instead of doing hard labor. Uh, Nigga, I'll see you when I see you like Fantasia. And Whitney, you... I'll see you when I see you like Fantasia. And instead of putting in hard work... You're just dissing me to ro as promo for your album. On hard labor. Mm. I'm dropping soon. No wonder you turn a clout chaser mm. instead of doing hard labor. Mm. Nigga, I see you when I see you like Fantasia. Yo. Whitney, you can hit me if you need a favor. Mm. And when Whitney, I say Whitney. I hit your back, it's a lot safer. <laughs> Whitney, you can hit me if you need a favor. When I say I hit you back, it's a lot safer. Oh, this nigga drinking. He's alive, folks. When I say I hit your back, it's a lot safer. Yeah. I promise. I promise. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this shit was some some good exercise. Like, it's good to get out, get the pen working. Get the you wouldn't be a worthy competitor if I was really a predator and you weren't fucking lying to every blogger and editor, but. When he's it still is. rapping, he's still rapping. You catch it, a worthy competitor, blogger, and editor, he's still it's rapping. Better than you weren't fucking lying to every blogger and editor, but mm. it is what it is. You definitely got this shit burnt the fuck out, though. Like, you got 10 more records to drop. The one before the last one, we finessed you into telling a story that doesn't even exist. And then you go and drop the West Coast one to try and cover that up. I would like that one. That, that, that would be some shit I could dance to if you wasn't tripling down on some whole other bullshit. But, you know, at least your fans are getting some raps out of you. I'm happy I can motivate you, bring you back. Again, again, that's another thing. Kendrick has never dropped enough music, but the music he does drop is something that we as a culture can live with. But Drake is like, bro, Y'all niggas need to just remember battles. You man, I remember in Ether, Nas talk about your dick sucking lips. Like sometimes you just fuck you. Sometimes it's as simple as fuck you. Get some whole other bullshit, but you know at least your fans are getting some raps out of you. I'm happy I can motivate you, bring you back to the game. Like you know, but just let me know when we get into the facts. Everything in my shit is facts. Mm. I'm waiting on you to return the favor, like. Dame mm. Dad said we used to judge battles off of who was real or not about what you would say. But if, if what you say was more authentic, nigga Drake just put himself back in the battle. It's a certified vibe check. Come another reaction by my right here. Bing, music video. I'm right there. Pow. And I'm off that hand. Kimberly family, love y'all. I am faded. I'm gone.